I am back. I believe it's been a long year and a half or more since I posted a YouTube yoga video. And today I was planning on just coming down and doing a practice. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna film for YouTube. I've been thinking about coming back and doing this. Life has been crazy. Um, I won't bore you with too much talking about it because I know you're here for the yoga, um, but I'm really excited. When I first started doing yoga on YouTube, I didn't even have my uh, 200 hours yet, and I taught a few more classes after I got that 200 hours, but uh, then it just kind of fizzled off with starting my own business and the hustle and bustle of whatever life brought in that last big chunk of time since I posted a video. So I'm excited to bring you a full body flow today. Um, I'm going to be moving a lot in the way to kind of work on some of my back pain and sciatica issues that are going on today. So if you are coming with no issues at all, please know that um, all these movements are great for anybody, not just back pain, um, but that is where I am focusing my own energies because I woke up with some sciatica this morning and yesterday morning. So I am so excited to bring you this practice. Make sure you check in the comments. I will put a Spotify link if you like to listen to music while you practice. I will have a Spotify link and you can pick any of my hour long playlists to go along with your yoga practice. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to sit on a block. Um, we're going to start in an easy seated pose. Um, I like to sit on a block. It brings my hips a little bit higher and it allows my pelvis to find a neutral position a little easier than if I was just sitting on the floor so I can kind of settle in and just allow yourself to do just that. Settle in, ground down through the sitting bones and notice all the parts of your body that are in contact with the earth. Let your eyes float closed or gaze softly at the floor in front of you. Take your hands to the tops of the thighs. Your palms can be down in a gesture of grounding or flip them up in a gesture of seeking energy. If you need vulnerability and you're just here to receive, go ahead and flip those up and then settle into a stillness here. Settle into a very deep focus of your breath. Breathing in and out of the nose, With each inhale, grow a little taller through the spine, reaching the crown of the head up towards the sky. And with each exhale, let it go. Draw the belly button back, maybe forcefully getting all that last little bit of carbon dioxide out of the lungs. And then just keep breathing just like this on your own. Gather your hands in front of your heart, pressing your thumbs into your sternum. Allow your shoulders to descend down the back away from the ears and take a moment here to set an intention for your personal practice this, this time around. I was going to say this morning, but it might not be morning where you are. And then when you feel complete there, release your hands down to the thighs for a moment. And then on an inhale, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears and exhale, lower them down. It's almost like you're pressing those scapula down towards your back pockets. Do it again. Inhale, shrug everything up. Exhale, roll your shoulder blades back. Do it one more time. Inhale, exhale, lower them down. We're gonna start with a little mudra here, focused on opening your heart and your upper back. It is the Ganesha mudra. Ganesha is the Hindu god of remover of obstacles. Maybe you've seen that god depicted with the elephant head and the human body. Um, it's a very 
well-loved God. Um, and when we, when we kind of honor Ganesha with our practice, we are honoring the fact that we can do hard things and we can remove obstacles just by manifesting the removal of obstacles. So I want you to take your left hand in front of your heart, the thumb pointing down, and then take your right palm against the left palm. So your fingers are facing away from each other and then slide your fingertips until you've kind of just got fingertips to fingertips, curl them together and now you've got a little pressure this way. Your right thumb is pointing up, left thumb is down. Put your eyes closed again if you let them open. And on an inhale, you prepare and on an exhale, you pull the fingertips apart finding a widening through the collarbone, a widening in the back body, just a general like release through the tops of the shoulders and then inhale to relax. Exhale, pull them apart, draw the belly button and stay nice and tall through your spine. Don't sink down. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull apart. It's an isometric hold. You're pulling, you're pulling, you're pulling. And then you release. Take the hands down onto the thighs, palms up. Take a deep breath in your nose. Hold it at the top for a moment and then open your mouth side away. Beautiful. You are ready to begin some movement. If you are sitting on a block, remove that and let's find tabletop. So you're gonna take your hands to the top of your mat, spread your fingertips wide, stacking wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Start to move through cow and cat. On an inhale, deep breath, belly drops, tailbone lifts, gaze lifts, and then exhale, round your spine, push the floor away. Pull the belly button in, bring your eyes to your thighs. Keep moving, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat the back. Pull everything in, belly button to spine, push the shoulder blades apart. Keep moving, inhale. And exhale. Move on your own breath a few more rounds. Feel free to get out of a forward and back motion, maybe you get into your hips or the side body. Sometimes like a big barrel roll of the chest feels good. Maybe just getting into the hips and the shoulders and the ribs. I'm taking some side bends. You can make it your own. It does not have to look any which way. This is your practice. On your next inhale, come to a neutral spine. Send your right foot back behind you, tuck the toes under, and then just gently press the heel back like you're stretching the calf muscle. Stay strong through the arms and then release out of it. Rock forward slightly. Press back into that calf again. Rock forward slightly. And then one more time, press back. The back of the leg is strong. Maybe you're even feeling a little bit into the hamstring though. Not likely, because your hip is pretty straight here. Coming back to a neutral position, lift the right toes and send them over to the left side of your mat. They're crossed over. You're getting maybe already a stretch through the hip, but if you want a little bit more, you peek over the left shoulder. Now you're getting a big stretch through that right hip, right side body. And on another inhale, come back forward. Take the right knee underneath, stack it under your hip, step the left foot back, same thing. We'll first press into the calf and then you'll release out. We'll do that two more times. Pressing in and releasing. After your third time, come back to that neutral spine, lift the left toes, send them over to the right side of your mat option to stay here, option to peek over your right shoulder for that heel, really getting through that side body, big stretch into the IT band, staying up high on the ball of the foot. And then gently come on out, take the left 
knee back underneath. We'll take one more round of cow inhale, and then round through your spine, exhale, cat pose, belly button to spine, and then come to a neutral spine, find child's pose, big toes come to touch, your knees go wide, take a seat, hips to heels. We're moving slowly to start our practice this morning. <laughs> Today, I keep saying this morning, allow your forehead to find the earth, allow yourself to sink even deeper, hips working towards heels. If they don't meet your hip, your heels super easily, option to place a block under your forehead, under underneath your thighs. I will demonstrate what that looks like. If, it, if that's a lot in your knees, sometimes placing a block kind of on top of the heels and having kind of a softer landing is a little bit more comfortable. So use blocks, use props if you have them. being kind to our body, allowing ourselves to move in a way that honors what our bodies can do. Come up back to tabletop and immediately take it into high plank, coming up onto the tippy toes. Spread your fingertips wide, spread your collarbones, spread your shoulder blades, draw your low belly up and in, back of neck is long. Take an inhale to prepare, exhale, downward facing dog, our first down dog of the day. Um, maybe it feels good to pedal out your down dog, pressing the right knee, right heel down towards the floor, and then switching the left heel, reaching to the floor. And switch as often as you need, but move slowly. There's no quick movements here. And then find stillness in your dog, taking both heels towards the floor, a generous bend in the knees, your tailbone is reaching high, find a long line of energy from the base of your wrist to the tailbone, but without arching or ducking your butt, you're not anterior tilting the pelvis, there's a little tuck, it's reaching out and up towards where the ceiling and the wall meets. Can you draw your low belly in? Can you draw your lowest rib towards the hip bone? Big, big stretch to the shoulders. On an inhale, rise up to tippy toes, look to their hands, and then walk yourself all the way up. Hands, or feet to the hands, hips width distance apart. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen your spine, squeeze your shoulder blades, reach the crown forward. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, extended mountain rise, all the way up to standing, palms reach overhead. And then exhale your hands down in front of your heart. Shoulder blades reach down again, like you're placing the tips of your scapula into your back pockets. Draw your low belly in, find a softness in the knees. Release the hands, inhale, extended down. Swan dive, forward fold, lead with your chest, hinge at the hips, let it go. Exhale. Halfway lift, lengthen, inhale. Plant the palms, exhale, step back to plank. Lower this time your knees, then your chin and your chest. Wiggle it forward all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes, tops of the feet, pressing into the floor, hands under your shoulders. Inhale to a baby cobra. Inhale, press through the palms. Exhale down, only going to that bottom rib. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale. One more time, exhale, lower down. And this time, inhale, press yourself up. Find downward facing dog, tuck the toes, hips lift. Settle in to your down dog. On an inhale, rise up, look to the fingers. Exhale, bend the knees, step forward to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, fold forward, exhale. Extended mountain root to rise. Inhale, sweep the arms out, up. Exhale, swan dive right into it, forward fold, let it all go. Halfway lift, lengthen, inhale. Plant the palms, exhale, step back, lower down, chaturanga. Elbows hug in, 90 degree bend of the elbow. Flip the feet, inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, let it go, hips lift. Inhale, rise up, look forward, exhale, bend the knees, step the feet to the front of your mat. Half lift, inhale, fold forward, exhale. 
Extended mountain rise up, sweep the arms. Swan dive forward, fold, exhale. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, exhale, plant the palms, step back, lower slowly. Elbows hug into the sides. Upward facing dog, flip the feet, press the chest. Downward facing dog, exhale. Again, inhale, rise up, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step forward. Half lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Root to rise, inhale. Palms come to touch overhead. And then swan dive forward, fold, lead with your chest. Hinge at the hips, let it go, exhale. Half lift, chaturanga. Step or float it back, lower. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, rise up, look forward. Exhale, step or float your feet to the front of the mat. Half lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Extended mountain rise up, big breath in. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Half lift. Chaturanga, plant the palms, step or float, lower down. Big exhale, all the air out. Up dog, breath in, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, rise up, look forward. Exhale, step the feet to the front. Half lift, inhale. Fold, exhale, change coming. We're taking it to Sun B's chair pose. Inhale, take the big toes to touch and then you rise up, bend the knees. Take the hips down behind your heels. Biceps frame your ears or take them a little wider if that's more accessible for your shoulders. Sit as low as you can. You should be able to wiggle all 10 toes. Weight is down into both heels. Can you even press the feet into the floor? Finding a way to draw energy up from the earth, up through the inner ankle, inner thigh, belly. Draw the belly and ribs in. Gaze up on an inhale. Fold forward, exhale, let it go. Half lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, step or float it back, lower down. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Step your right foot between your palms, warrior one. Spin the left heel down here, inhale, you rise. Your right knee is bent, so it's stacked right over the ankle. You're pulling that hip back into the hip socket and drawing your left hip and shoulder towards the short edge of your mat. Energy through your fingertips. Again, can you press the feet into the earth? Almost like you're trying to wrinkle your mat between your heels. You're pulling them together, inner thighs squeezing. And see how that draws your energy all the way up the spine, up the front body. Inhale, gaze up, maybe find a back bend. Chaturanga, exhale, hands float down. Step or float that right leg, back, lower. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left side, step it between the palms, warrior one, inhale to rise. Holding this warrior one, again, checking all those alignment points. Left knee stacked, left hip plugging into the hip socket. Right hip and right shoulder working towards that short edge of your mat, weight into the heels. Press them into the earth, draw the energy up, inner thighs through the spine, little back bend, gaze up, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, flowing it through your vinyasa, lower down, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, we'll do that again, inhale, rise up, look forward, bend the knees, exhale, step or float back to the front of your mat, half lift, inhale, Fold forward, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, let it go right away. Half lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, step or float. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, it's one breath, plant the feet, rise up on an inhale. And then take it back through your vinyasa, exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale, left foot. Step it through, rise up, inhale, warrior one. 
chatter on the exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. One more time, inhale, rise up, exhale, bend the knees. Step or float the feet to the hands. Halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. One breath, chair pose, sit as low as you can, reach high as you can. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Half lift, chaturanga. Upward facing, open your heart as you press up. Downward facing dog, exhale. Warrior one, right side, step it through, plant the feet, rise up on an inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Long breath out. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Warrior one, left side, step it through, plant the feet, inhale to rise. Chaturanga, exhale to lower. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, push it back. Take a pause here. Sigh out your mouth, maybe letting out some heat, letting out a little relief. We're starting to warm up the body. On an inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Hold it here for a moment. You're extending that heel straight behind the hip. You're flexing the foot, the toes are pointing down. The weight is still even in both hands. You're still pressing your chest towards the left thigh. Big stretch for that left thigh. Energy through that right heel. Take an inhale, reach the right leg a little higher. Exhale, pull the knee into your nose, shift forward to plank, cat your back. Three-legged dog, reach the right heel high. Exhale, knee to nose, cat your back. Three-legged dog, inhale. Cat your back, knee to nose, exhale, let it go. Step the right foot between the palms, come up to a low lunge, untuck the toes, reach the arms up, inhale. Grab a hold of your left wrist, side bend to the right, opening through that left hip flexor. Keep the right knee stacked over the right ankle. You're not lunging forward or dumping into that left hip. You're fairly upright here. Release the hands, inhale, exhale. Hands come to the floor, blocks half splits. Shift your hips over that left knee. Straighten your right leg, flex your foot with a flat back, you're hinging at that right hip, pulling the toes back towards your shin. Holding here for one more big breath, inhale. Exhale, re-bend the knee, walk your hands forward, staying on blocks or getting rid of them. Tuck your left toes, runner's lunge, lift the knee. Find a nice long spine, again, peek and make sure that right knee is stacked over the ankle. Runner's lunge, twist, left hand plants, peel open towards the right side. You're working that right hip straight back. It's a pretty decent stretch in that right hip. And then we're gonna take fall and lunge. You're gonna go to the outside edge of both feet, your right toes face the right edge of your mat, your left toes face the right edge of your mat, drop your hips, reach your right arm back towards the left foot, pressing that knee away, almost like a lizard lunge here, big opening for the hip. And then sweep it back up and over, find your runner's lunge, plant the palms, find three-legged dog, inhale, keep the leg lifted, shift forward to plank, chaturanga, exhale, lower down, Upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Taking it to the other side, three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Square hips, all five toes of that left foot face the floor. You're flexing through the foot so the heel is reaching up and back. Draw your low belly in, draw that front rib down, press evenly through both hands. On an inhale, reach the heel a little higher. Exhale, knee to nose, round your spine, press the floor away. Three-legged dog, left leg lifts, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale, pull it in. 
One more time, three-legged dog, inhale, exhale, knee to nose, pull it in, step the foot through, low lunge, right knee lowers, inhale, reach high. Find that nice tall posture, pulling the left foot, thigh bone into the hip socket, grab your right wrist, side bend over to the left, opening through that hip flexor and your side body, QL, all those tight little muscles that can cause compression in the lower back. Come back up to center, inhale, hands find the blocks or the floor for half splits. You shift your hips over that right that knee, straighten your left foot, straighten your left knee rather, pull the toes back towards your shin and find a hinge at the waist, keeping your back nice and flat. There's no rounding here. You're leading with your chest. It's like you're trying to pull your hip crease away from the crown of your head. And maybe there's a slight bend, bend forward, but the the, there doesn't need to be a ton for you to feel this stretch. You don't need to have your nose on your shin. One more breath here. And then re-bend the left knee. Walk your hands back forward to frame the left foot. Blocks can stay or go away. Runner's lunge, tuck your right toes, lift the knee. Finding a square posture, can you pull their left hip back and make sure your hips are in the line. There's a long line of energy from the right heel to the crown of your head. Then we'll twist it. Right hand plants, peel the left arm open. Sort of peek down, make sure left knee stays stacked over the ankle. Left hip is going straight back. Keep strong in your right leg. Don't let it waver. And then we'll take that fallen lunge. All 10 toes turn to face the left edge of your mat. Drop your hips, turn your knee out, reach towards your right foot. It's a big hip stretch. It's okay. Move slowly. Sweep that left arm all the way up and over again. Find your runner's lunge. And then find three-legged dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Shift forward to plank, exhale, lower chaturanga, keep that exhale coming. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Three-legged dog, right leg lifts, inhale. Pull the knee to your right elbow, exhale. Three-legged dog, inhale. Knee to left elbow, exhale. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, runner's lunge, step it through. Pause here for a moment. Come up onto your fingertips, get really strong in that left leg. You're gonna really press down into that right leg. It's where most of your weight is, but the knee has to be over the ankle for this to work. Reach your left arm out by your ear, and then maybe your right arm follows it. You're staying low. Maybe a little lift. The belly is not now is now not lying on your thigh. You're holding yourself up. Take one more breath here. Let it go. Exhale. On your next inhale, crescent lunge. Press the right heel in as you lift your chest. Ooh, I'm losing my balance. And then maybe you sink in. Maybe that left knee needs to bend a little bit. Breathe here. Drawing the front ribs in, drawing the low belly back towards the spine. Inhale, revolved crescent lunge. Reach your arms wide. Left arm is reaching forward. Right arm is reaching back. Bend your right knee. It's going to be your left knee as much as you need to get access into that twist. Crescent lunge. Turn to face the front. Inhale. Maybe press that left knee straight. Pop your left foot up and in, pyramid pose. All 10 toes are still facing that short edge of your mat. Slowly bow forward with a flat back. Pull your right hip crease back. Bow yourself forward. Then your hands come to blocks or the floor as you melt your spine 
onto that right thigh. Let your head go. Let your neck be soft. Peek back and make sure you're not over to the left as much as, as too much so that your left hip is higher. Pull your weight so that both hips are level. You can kind of peek back and see. If you're over one side or the other, I'm shifting to show you kind of what that looks like. One hip will definitely be higher. Bend that weight down between both feet evenly and then fold again. Standing splits. Walk your blocks or your hands forward. Float the left leg. Keeping those hips square. You're going to want to open that left hip. Don't let it. Keep rolling that left outer hip down or maybe even think about spinning the inner thigh up. Maybe that makes a little bit more sense. Good. Gently, gently set back. Runner's lunge. Rebend the right knee. Plant the hands. Left hand plants. Twist. Runner's lunge. Right arm lifts. Fall and lunge. One breath. Exhale. Runner's lunge. Take it back. Three-legged dog. Shoot the right leg up and back. Inhale. Vinyasa, shift forward to plank, lower chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, inhale, knee to left tricep, pull it forward, exhale. Three legged dog, left leg lifts, inhale, knee to right tricep, pull it forward, exhale. Three-legged dog, inhale, knee to chest, exhale, step it through, find that runner's lunge, square the hips, come up onto your fingertips, get a little bit longer with the spine and a little bit stronger in that back leg, and when you're ready, reach the right arm by your ear, and then the left arm will meet it, holding here, keep holding that left hip back, your weight into that left heel, you're pressing down. On your next inhale, crescent lunge, press the heel down to lift the chest and then settle in. Big stretch to that right hip flexor. Keep drawing the tailbone in slightly, draw the front body in slightly. Bend that back knee if you need. Inhale. Revolve, crescent lunge, exhale, right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back. Bending that back knee as much as you need. Finding as much of a spinal rotation, staying solid on your feet, staying in that front leg bent. Crescent lunge, inhale. Runner's lunge, exhale. Hands come down. Peel it open, twist left, inhale, fall and lunge, exhale, turn it out, one breath though. Runner's lunge, turn it back around, three-legged dog, left leg lifts, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, shift it forward, lower down, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, exhale. On an inhale, rise up, look forward. Exhale, step or flip your feet to your hands. Half lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Big toes are going to touch. We're going to chair. Inhale. Rise up, sit deep. Holding here. Nice, long, tall spine. Energy through your fingertips. Squeeze in. Take your hands to your heart. Twisted chair. Glue the knees together, twist from the navel, get the hips low. Maybe that left elbow hooks to the outside of your right thigh. Press the hands towards center. Breathe, lengthen. When we find these poses, try not to just find them and sit in them. Can you get the hips lower? Can you lengthen through the spine? We're sitting here, but we are still working. We're finding little tweaks, little things that we can do on your next inhale, cross or chair pose, excuse me. Hands to your heart, we twist to the left, stay nice and low, twist from the navel, 
Maybe hook the elbow, press the hands to the chest. Nice and low, knees stay glued together. Heels are apart. Keep working to lengthen, keep working to get lower in the hips. Inhale, come to center, stay low, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Half lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, step or float it back. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it between the palms. Open up to warrior two. Wide warrior two. Adjust your feet if you need to. It's a heel to arch or heel to heel. Take a nice deep bend in your right knee. Pull your right hip towards the right, excuse me, towards the left heel so that you're not, it's not sticking out and your knee's not collapsing in, but it's making this nice parallel line from the middle toe, knee to hip to shoulder. Everything is reaching in one long, beautiful line. Wide leg forward fold. Turn all 10 toes to the left short edge of your mat. Slowly catching the hips with a flat back. Lower yourself down, maybe your hips, excuse me. Maybe your heels go a little wider than your toes. Allow yourself to hang here, maybe a block underneath the crown of your head so that you can ground in this inversion. Your heart is below as well. Your heart is over your head, your hips, are the highest point. Take your hands back to center if you were reaching to the side. Come up to a little halfway lift and then slightly turn your toes out. Take a really deep bend in your left knee. Option to take a block with you. We're working to side lunge. You wanna make sure that that heel stays flat. So your hip is going down, but you're not popping up. You're gonna get a much better stretch if you press into the heel and you keep pressing that left knee out over the pinky edge. A block can be really helpful if maybe you don't have this kind of flexibility, but you can come up. You might be here. This is a great place to be. Wherever you are, you're just sinking. And then you're gonna walk your hands over to the right side. Take the block with you if you're using a block. Take the left toes up off the floor, drop the hips. Use that right arm to press the knee away. Go back to the left side, walk through to the center, straight the knees. Toes are still slightly pointed out. Maybe you get a little bit deeper this time. Maybe if this is already something that's in your practice, you can find hands to heart center, a nice long spine for Skandasana. Maybe you open the arms. Any of these are options. You can still have your hands on a block. You don't have to do anything. And then taking it back to the right one more time, Skandasana. Come up onto the left heel. Maybe you find that balance. Maybe you're still using a block. All are options. Hands find the floor. Turn to face your right foot. Pop the left foot up and in again, pyramid pose. Square the hips off. All 10 toes are facing forward. Your feet are like a hips with distance apart. So it's like you took a giant step. You don't have to be on a railroad, on one railroad tire balance beam. Allow your chest to melt. And then gently find that standing split again. Left leg lift. Hips are square. Maybe you're getting a little bit further, more lift in that left leg. Maybe you want to play with your balance. One hand or both to your ankle. Using a drishti point, a gaze point to find that balance.
and then gently step both feet back to plank. Lower chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Three-legged dog, left leg lifts, inhale. Step it through, warrior two. Step the foot down, spin the right heel down. Inhale to rise, and then we settle in. Adjusting your feet as you need. Check in with that hip and knee alignment on the front leg. Can you sink a little lower? Are you reaching energy across the collarbone, across the back of the body? Remember that mudra we found when we open the chest and the collarbone at the same time with that isometric pull. Maybe take it again just to kind of reignite that. Wide leg forward fold, all 10 toes to the right edge of the mat, hands to the hips, slowly bow forward. So again, you have the same options as before. Maybe you can get a little wider. Maybe your hands reach through the legs. Maybe you just take the same variation as you did before. Maybe you have a headstand in your practice. This is a great place to find that traditional headstand. If you don't have a headstand, I do not um, encourage you to try it here if you've never done this. But if you've tried it and you feel comfortable doing a headstand in the middle of the room, measure the length of your forearms by grabbing opposite elbows. Make that basket with your hands and then press the head into the floor as you slowly float the legs up. I said press the head into the floor and I don't really think I meant that. And then put your head in that little basket. Now press your forearms into the floor. When you're ready, whichever variation you chose, you're coming back into that wide leg forward fold. We're going to walk the feet over to the right. Turn your toes slightly out. Again, just taking those side lunges. Gandasana. You're going to go to each side two times. Moving on your own. You've already been here before. We're just taking it one more time, maybe getting either deeper or maybe you're backing off a little bit on this side. You choose. Notice if your breath has become a little more shallow, can you take it back to those nice long breaths? Inhale now, exhale. Just like you started, quieting the mind, focusing just on the body. Turn to face the left foot. Pop your right foot up and in again, pyramid pose. Halfway lift to, to prepare. And then exhale, fold over the left leg. Let your head go. We're not here for long. Standing split. So again, shift the weight to the left foot. Right leg flies up. Finding a nice square hip posture. And then options are the same. Maybe your hands stay down. Maybe you challenge yourself with that balance. Both hands, maybe just one hand. For me, that's really all I can do on this side for some reason. If I let go of my right hand, we will be on the floor and that is okay. <laughs> we know our limits, don't we? There's a fine line between knowing your limits and not pushing yourself to an edge and knowing your limits and knowing when it's not maybe the right time to push. Gently step both feet back to plank and lower. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Inhale your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, pull the right knee in, step it through, warrior two. Opening up. Flip your right palm, reverse your warrior. This is not a back bend. Think of it's a lengthening through the right side body. You're reaching your fingertips up 
like you're trying to graze the ceiling above you with your fingertips and then take it back warrior two inhale reverse flip the palm reach up warrior two exhale one more time reverse inhale extended side angle forearm to the thigh left arm sweeps over your ears you're pulling your left shoulder back reaching out through the fingertips and pressing down to the left outside edge of your foot you can stay here option to take a bind half bind full bind bird of paradise i will not be taking any of those variations today that is not where my body is at if it's in your practice you have freedom to take it find a pause button if you don't have enough time that's the beauty of doing youtube yoga You're in a really deep flexion and external rotation in that right leg. Can you keep it? And on an inhale, reach back up to warrior two. Don't change anything in the leg. There's a change coming. Can you hold your warrior two? Maybe that right thigh is talking to you. Press the right knee straight. Here's the relief. Triangle pose. Reach your right fingertips forward as you shift the left hip back. Reach as far forward as you can. And when you can't go any further, your right hand finds your shin, a block, or the floor in front or maybe behind the right foot. Open your heart, open your shoulder, left shoulder stacked over right. Maybe the left hand reaches straight up and you can gaze to that thumb. Where can you lengthen a little bit more? This is not a resting pose. Can you pull the crown of your head towards the right toes just a little bit more? Shift your gaze to your right foot. Half moon, soften the knee as you launch out. Maybe your hand finds a, a block or the floor. It's likely off the front edge of your mat. The further away it is, the more stability it's going to be because you're lengthening through the torso. Your left foot is flexed. <laughs> you're wobbling. That's okay. Your left foot is flexed and pointed straight to that left edge of your mat or out but towards that wall in front of you. Be wary of lifting that left leg too much. Keep it in line with your shoulder and your hip. And if you have a bind in your practice, bend the left knee, catch the inner arch with your left hand, and then pull your chest and hip open. Kick into the hand. Gently release the left foot back down to the earth, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Vinyasa, windmill the hands down to the floor, step back to plank, lower chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, exhale, take a breath, side out, we go to the other side, left leg lifts and hands, step it between your palms, exhale, warrior two, Inhale to lift, settling in. Flip your left palm, reverse your warrior. Remember, it's a lift and a lengthen through the left side body. Warrior two, exhale, controlling. Nothing changes in the leg. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Do it one more time. Inhale, reverse. Extended side angle, forearm to the thigh. Sweep the right fingertips overhead settle in you have options half binds full binds birds of paradise keep the chest open if any of these things are in your practice note if you feel like you have to collapse down to find it and if you do you're not ready you're not there yet today some days you might be there today maybe not if you have to round your spine or change the open in your chest, you're not ready. You're in a really deep flexion in that left hip. Can you stay there? 
Lift up, warrior two. Stay in that warrior two. Keep that knee bent. Your thigh might be talking to you. You know relief is coming. And here it is, triangle pose. Press that left knee straight. Shift your right hip back. Reach out, out, out towards the front of your mat. And when you can't reach any further, your hand finds a block, your shin or the floor. Right arm is reaching straight up, gaze to the thumb. We are not resting. We're finding length through the left side body. Reach the crown of the head towards that front edge of your mat. Good. Gaze down to the right toes. Grab your block for half moon. Maybe you don't need a block, but I like to use a block because I feel like my arms aren't as long as my legs. And this keeps me honest, this keeps me in a nice parallel position to the floor. My right toes are flexed. My left, my right shoulder is stacked over my left. Option to stay, option to find that half moon bind, catching the inner arch of the foot. Oop. Wobbles are completely normal, they make you human. I'm wobbling a lot. I'm trying to hold it. It's one of my favorite stretches, especially for this right hip, which has been so tight lately. Really swore your two. Oh, that was ugly. Don't do mine. Gently set the right foot down. Find your warrior two. Reverse, inhale. Vinyasa, exhale, windmill the hands down. Chaturanga, let it go. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Ah, take a breath in and out. Maybe a child's pose would feel good. A little counter stretch. Totally optional. On an inhale, pull back up to downward facing dog if you are in child's pose. Hips lift, press the heels down. Inhale, rise up to your tippy toes. Exhale, step or float your feet to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale, big toes come to touch. We're going back to chair pose. Bend the knees, drop the hips, reach the arms. Sit nice and low. Coming up to a standing leg raise. Right leg is going to come up and into your chest. You're pressing the left foot. The left foot straight down into the earth. Flex your right foot. Pull the thigh into your chest. And then we're taking a figure four stretch. Cross the ankle over the thigh. Hands come to heart center. Half chair. Have a seat into that left heel. Press your right knee down towards the floor. It's a hip opener and a balance. If flying pigeon is in your practice, take fingertips to the floor. Maybe you don't know if it's in your practice, so take yourself to the edge. Fingertips maybe find the floor. Maybe take a little forward fold. This is a good place to start. You're still flexing through that right foot. If you'd like to try the arm balance, you're going to plant the palms, spread your fingertips wide. You are hooking your right foot around your left tricep. You're making a big shelf with your triceps by finding that ch chatter on the arm and shimmy that left foot back. Chatter on the arms, lean forward, gaze all the way, way far forward, like you're getting into crow. And then maybe you lift the left leg. Maybe it flies straight. Maybe not to me. <laughs> and then come on out if you are in whatever position everybody finds a whole flat for a forward fold at the front of your mat 
Halfway lift, inhale to lift, lengthen. Fold, exhale. We're gonna take extended mountain, roll up to standing. Inhale, exhale, hands to your heart. Heel to the feet in, big toes to touch. Chair pose, we have to do the other side, have a seat. Reach the arms. Settle into your chair pose. One full cycle of breath here. And then pressing into that right foot. Left foot comes into the chest, flex the foot. Thigh into the chest, reach high. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Figure four, stretch, ankle crosses over. Hands come to heart center. Little half chair, sit down into that right heel. Press the left foot. Knee, excuse me, down. Spine is long. Hip opener, balance. What in the world, why? <laughs> Who made this up? Option to stay here, option to take it even further. Maybe fingertips to the floor. Maybe find that forward fold. Option to get off the bus anytime you want. If you're going for the arm balance, you're gonna hook those right toes, flexing them onto your right tricep. You make that shelf with your arms. You bend and you shimmy that right leg back. Maybe you fly the right leg. And when you're ready, you take both feet down and find the forward fold at the front of your mat. Let it go. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold that heel. Extended mountain, roll up to standing, one vertebrae at a time, inhale. Hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, stick the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center, heel toe the feet in nice and tight. Rise up on your tippy toes. Squeeze the ankles in, squeeze the inner thighs in. Slowly make your way all the way down to toe stand. Squeeze everything in your shoulders, Go straight down, your hips land so softly. You stay here, you grow even taller. You're up on the balls of your feet, you're sitting tall. Can you gently and with control reach your arms forward, lower the heels, rock back, find boat pose, just find it right here. Yes, you can. Boat pose, you can absolutely grab between, behind the thighs Lifting the chest, drawing the belly button in. Maybe you find that and then you release the hands. You flex the feet. You keep lifting your chest, drawing your belly button back. Maybe you can reach your arms overhead. Maybe not. <laughs> Take one more inhale. Low bow, lower to your low back. Your shoulders and heels stay lifted. And then let it go. Reach your arms overhead. Get really long and tall. We are all the way now on the floor. You've made it. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little massage. We were gonna do two rounds of back bends. You can choose whatever variations you would like to do. I prefer to start with at least one bridge pose just to kind of pre prepare. If you have full wheel in your practice. I invite full wheel, or you're absolutely able to take two bridge poses, two wheels if you're a diehard, maybe a restorative bridge using a block under your hips. You are the master of your practice, you and you alone. But I will cue bridge and then I will cue full wheel for those of you taking it. So. You're gonna line your heels and middle toes up with your sitting bones. Line your hips and your knees together, hands down by your side on an inhale. Press up, bridge pose. You're pressing through the heels. You're reaching the, crown, the kneecaps over the toes, like they're reaching forward and see how that naturally lifts you up without having to like squeeze on the quads. Maybe your hands clasp underneath if you like that variation, shimming the shoulder blades under, pressing forearms and upper arm into the earth. And then release, 
one vertebrae at a time, whichever variation you've chosen. Maybe it feels good to windshield wiper the knees side to side. Getting yourself prepared for bridge or wheel number two. I'm gonna cue full wheel the way I like to get into it. If you like to get into it right away, be my guest. If you're taking bridge or restorative bridge, you know where you're going. You're lifting up and holding. Go ahead and find it when you find it. Inhale. For me, I like to lift into bridge first and then I reach the arms up overhead, taking the hands to the shoulders. Lift to the top of your head and then press. Whatever variation you're in, you lower down. If you're in full wheel, tuck your chin first, lower to your shoulders, and then roll everything down one vertebrae at a time. Take your feet wide on your mat this time, and sh shimmy. Windshield wiper the knees side to side, getting a little bit of a different release in the lower back. And then heel toe your feet back in towards each other. Pull the knees into the chest. Maybe a little rock and roll side to side. If you like a happy baby, this is a great place to find it, grabbing big toes or outer edges of your feet. Soles of the feet point straight up. And then optional childlike play side to side. If you have happy baby, pull the knees back into the center and then start to roll forward and back, building up a little momentum, rolling out the whole spine. When you've done maybe three or four rocks, cross your ankles, hands come to the top of your mat. Step back to downward facing dog, option to take a vinyasa or just pause and down dog for a moment. Setting up for pigeon, inhale your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, pull it through, flex your foot, taking the ankle towards the left edge of your mat. It can be a little closer into your hip if that's what you need. I am going to place a block underneath my right hip. And then I'm gonna check and make sure my left foot is coming straight out of my hip. It's not rolling out. I'm on the shoelace side of my foot and my thigh is pointing straight down. I'm going to inhale, I'm going to find a little bit of a lift and a back bend, and then slowly I'm going to lower myself down. Maybe you just come to forearms, maybe you able, you are able to get all the way flat. The point that I like to drive home is that just take your time, we're going to be here a minute. Gently walk your hands back towards your right shin, heel toe the foot in a little bit, tuck your right toes, and step yourself back, your left toes, excuse me, step yourself back to downward facing dog. We'll take pigeon on the left. On an inhale, lift the left leg, pull it through, find your pigeon, set the heel down, set the shin down. Optional block under the hip, lower yourself down. One vertebrae, not one vertebrae at a time, one segment at a time. Take your time. I like to find a little back bend personally here. And then you find your deepest. It might take 
that whole minute to get there and that is okay. Find a slowing in your breath. Gently walk your fingertips back up towards that left shin. If you're sitting on a block, remove it and then come to sitting on that left hip. Swing your right leg all the way around. Come to a tall seat. Heels are just off that front edge of your mat. You're going to find a really tall spine. If you're really tight in the hips and you can't find a tall spine without rounding, I invite you to sit up on a block. It will help you kind of get that pelvis into a neutral position. The spine is what's important. The straightness of your legs is not option. Just even take your heels in a little closer if that'll help you get that nice tall spine. Inhale, reach your, your arms up overhead. And then exhale, reach beyond where you think you might land, beyond your toes, beyond your mat, and then your hands. Find your toes, your ankles, your calves. Fold, hinging at that hip, pull your hip crease in. And then see if you can't soften, soften in the belly, soften in the tops of the thighs. And then gently roll back up to a seat. Reach your arms super wide and then as slowly as you can, curl your tailbone under, tuck your tail, Pull your belly button towards your spine and make your way all the way onto your back. Once you land, you reach your arms up overhead, get really tall, reaching toes away from your fingertips, getting as long and tall as you can. And then exhale, pull your knees into your chest. One last hug, maybe another gentle side to side. I don't know why I said one last, because there's one more coming. Keep a hold of your right knee, send your left leg out long for a supine twist. Taking the right leg over to the left really slowly, getting a stretch into that spine, really spiraling it out. Maybe it feels good to gaze over to your right thumb. Unwind out of that twist. Switch the legs out. Left leg comes in. Right leg goes out long. Give that left leg a squeeze and then supine twist over to the right. Move slowly. Our tissues don't need to rush into any of these twists and forward folds and big hip openers. They will give if you give them time. Gently release out of this last twist. And this, my friends, is the last time the knees come into your chest. Maybe it feels good to lift the forehead and the shoulder blades up, making a really big, tight ball. Take a big, deep inhale. And then exhale, set yourself up for Shavasana. Sending your legs out long, arms down by the sides, eyes flat closed, become heavy. I 
invite you to stay in Shavasana as long as you need, allowing yourself to be heavy and breathe and be still. Coming back to that stillness. like to remain in Shavasana, finding maybe a meditation, I invite you to pause this video and continue to take the rest that you need. If not, start to bring small movements back to fingers and toes. Rock your head gently side to side, bringing small movements into the body, reawakening. And when you're ready, Pull the knees in and come onto your right side. Pausing in a side line Shavasana for a moment. A moment to acknowledge yourself for carving out this time for yourself. Acknowledge your body and all the amazing things that it does for you. And lastly, take a moment to reconnect with your intention if you set one at the beginning of practice. Keeping in mind your intention is never just limited to the time you spend moving on your mat, but you take your intention with you off the mat, working through moments of adversity, much like you did maybe on your mat, moments of unsteadiness, moments of unsureness, as well as those moments of bliss and when it felt really good. And when you feel complete with that, you're going to gently press yourself back up to a seat, much like we began, maybe a block, maybe you just ground through the earth, keeping your eyes softly closed. Gather your hands in front of your heart. Grow tall through your spine. Take a really big deep breath in the nose. Fill the lungs, fill the belly. Take it all the way up to the top of the lungs. Hold it for a moment. And then open your mouth, sigh it away. The light in me sees and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. My sincerest gratitude to each and every one of you who have joined me again on this channel. Thank you so much for waiting and coming back um, after this long hiatus. I am honored to bring back more yoga to this platform and I hope to see more of you soon. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day.